This is Gold Tone's USA Factory Setup Tour. The factory is located in Central Florida along the East Coast, often called the Space Coast where golden skies fill the horizon. Our number one concern is providing the best sounding and playing instrument for your dollar. Our 15,000 square foot shop employs talented instrument techs who all play and have created the specialized jigs and measuring devices necessary to efficiently provide this service. More bang for the buck has always been our unofficial motto since day one. And we're proud to provide the very best playing and sounding instruments to dealers worldwide. As soon as an instrument is ordered through our friendly Gold Tone office staff, the first step in the process is to pull the instrument and give it a thorough visual inspection. Fred's main concern at this point is to identify any flaws in the finish, including metal plating issues, and to ensure that the neck is perfectly straight, allowing for the perfect setup. On all banjos, the tension of the head is extremely important to the setup because it plays a critical role in the overall tone of the banjo. Depending on the head material, a new banjo will usually take some time to stretch and settle, so we start by tightening it up evenly to pitch. This important step will be checked again later and fine-tuned if necessary to ensure that every banjo sounds as good as it can. Gold Tone Instruments feature a two-way adjustable truss rod to straighten the neck. It takes a great deal of skill to properly sight and adjust a neck, and a straight neck provides the proper framework for leveling the fretboard and achieving our ultimate goal. And that's to provide an instrument that plays perfectly with low string action and absolutely no fret buzz. Steven demonstrates the process. Here Nathan gently levels the fretboard eliminating any high frets that could cause fret buzz. Any remaining file marks on the frets will be removed by sanding and polishing to prevent any scratchy sounds while the string slides across the fret. Bruno is crowning the frets with a crowning file. He's essentially reshaping any remaining flat spots from the previous step. Accurate fret shape is important because the string must rest on the middle part of the fret for proper intonation. Once the frets have been crowned, the last few scratches on each fret are hand sanded with fine grit sandpaper and then polished with steel wool. Rob completes the fretwork process by conditioning the fingerboard with a secret oil that prevents the wood from over drying. After that, the instrument is ready for the strings. Once the strings are tuned to pitch, Nathan adjusts the coordinator rods on a banjo that will fine tune the neck angle for proper string action. The string action will be checked again once the nut slots have been filed along with the final adjustment of the tailpiece. Steven files each slot in a bone nut so strings can be effortlessly fretted at the first fret. This process is a critical factor for the action and intonation of the first few frets. The slots are carefully cut with a file that matches the gauge of the string, so all strings glide easily through the nut and stay in tune. The bridge on a banjo is the conducting point where the vibration of the strings is transferred to the head and a key contributor for tonal quality. For the best tone and playability, Phil sands the feet on the bridge making them thinner and slightly at an angle so the first string will sit lower than the fourth. He then intonates the banjo by setting the bridge position with a digital tuner. In almost all cases for an instrument to be properly intonated, the bridge will be slightly tilted so that the lowest string is a little bit longer than the higher string. Now that the instrument is set up, Nick makes a final adjustment to the tailpiece and double checks the string action. He 
He checks for any loose hardware, tightens the tuners, and prepares the instrument for its first test run. He's now able to test every fret by playing a chromatic run in every position to ensure the setup meets our specifications and that the tune of the instrument is ideal. The instrument is then placed on a rack to sit for 24 hours to make sure everything on the instrument has settled before its final inspection. The instrument is now ready for final inspection. The instrument will be thoroughly checked over one last time. Kyle has been part of our crew for nearly 10 years and has an extensive setup knowledge on every instrument we manufacture. He'll double check the relief in the neck, the action, the bridge position, and intonation. He'll check for the overall playability of the instrument and generally make sure the instrument sounds as good as it should. He cleans up any fingerprints and double checks that the instrument matches what's on the invoice. He places the instrument along with the written order back on the instrument rack ready to be moved over to our shipping department. Gold Tone Vice President Robin will now give the instrument one last playthrough and visual inspection before being packed. She inspects and packs between 50 and 80 instruments a day and she can assure you that when an instrument is received and taken from its hard shell case or gig bag, it'll be tuned up and ready to be played perfectly. We're proud to say here at Gold Tone our technicians and luthiers expertise will make the instruments practically play themselves and will sound worlds above what you actually paid. Robin's brother Brian performs the final packing procedures and he'll make sure the instrument is secure in its box before being shipped to our customers worldwide. Gold Tone Instrument Techs are incredibly experienced and efficient and know all too well that even the best built instruments need the proper setup to play and sound their best. And that's exactly what happens here. We're certain that you'll be pleasantly surprised at the multi-step inspection system that provides the best sounding instruments at the very best value worldwide.